the similarity in the style of myself and Alanis and the fact that, you know, it's something that's fun, something that's got energy to it, something that has a story to it, um, you know, things that maybe not everyone else owns, kind of on the, off the beaten trail. Alanis Morris said it's all about folk and rock and roll, so it's about getting Janine to look a bit more hip, because she definitely does not look hip with those glasses on her forehead and covered up in that black overcoat. I'm a fashion designer, and I've always been trying to get Janine to dress a little bit more stylish, so today hopefully they'll help her out a lot. Do you know that this is actually the first time that Janine's worn heels? <laughs> Was that that <laughs> obvious? Um, yeah. <laughs> what happened to her feet? <laughs> Alanis Morissette style, she loves to mix rock and roll, and she still has that bohemian edge. When we saw her in the 90s, it was all bohemian. And as she matured, she got moved to LA. She was getting influenced. And we saw more of the skinny pant leg, started to wear makeup, she started to accessorize a little bit. But she'll never leave the little bohemia behind. This is a really cool sheer silk top, great jeans. We're seeing their real like influence with that rocker feel. She doesn't pile on the accessories, but with the chains that we do see are really rock and roll. I love this top. It has a very rock and roll, hippie chic uh, feel to it. Do you like it? Is this something you'd wear? To be honest, it kind of has sort of a, a parachute sort of feel to me, to me, but I'm just being honest. I know this is something Alanis would wear, but it's not really how I picture her. I always see Alanis very raw, kind of a little more rugged. She hasn't said anything to me yet, but I think after the high heels today, it's the beginning of something new. <laughs> Janine dresses like a hippie. She's very um, easy breezy kind of girl. What girl doesn't look sexy in a biker leather jacket? Alanis loves biker jackets. She has a bike herself, so we really see, you know, her wearing the biker boots, the slim jeans in her boots, the biker jackets, anything sort of leather. You know, she's a guy's type of girl. She's not afraid to get down and dirty and really get things done. There's a wild side to Alanis' personality. She's not this prim and proper little girl. I had no idea that Alanis Morissette was such a, a, a biker chick. You know, it, it just, I, I never would have imagined. I always imagined her as more of like, like a hippie chick. It's a copy of the 1970s guy's biker jacket. Except it's for a woman. It fits really snugly. It's almost a corseted effect. Uh, I love the oversized buttons. I love the detailing. We have the 1970s collar. Uh, that's so reminiscent. I mean, it's a huge thing. We saw them a lot. Uh, people went in vintage stores. They were trying to find these jackets. And designers finally caught on saying, hey, this bat is coming back again. So we really saw a lot of designers designing this specific style of jacket. Now, now we're getting somewhere. This is a little closer to the way I see Alanis. This surprised me uh, because I didn't know Alanis Morissette dressed like that. I kind of didn't imagine her as a rocker chick. And always musicians. There's always going to be that sort of punk, sort of biker edge to the way they dress. And we really see that influencing Alanis. And I mean, I think it's a big turn on for guys, too, to see a girl step on a bike and know how to work it, know how to speed off in the distance. I love the outfit. It's so funny when we think that she's, we were talking about her being anti-fashion. Of course, if you take a look at the detail, it's very form-fitting and it's a very <laughs> fashionable piece. Let's show these boys something a little sexier, because Alana still is sexy. When it comes to fashion, Janine is not high maintenance. She's just a plain Jane, t-shirt, jeans kind of girl. She kind of makes do with what she has and doesn't go for the brand names or any of that sort of thing. It's just kind of like, I'm going to pick a few things. I'm going to make something work for me. If I like it, great. If nobody else does, who cares? There's a quirky edge about her and this vibrant red colored dress fit her personality. This is something I wasn't expecting to see come out today. Actually, Alanis wore something very similar to this to a music awards show. She let comfort, I think, is very important for Alanis. So whenever we see her on that red carpet, it's something that's a little flowy, that's in a very comfortable fabric. This is a silk satin um, with cotton. Uh, the bracelet was influenced from a trip that she took to India, and we really saw the influences in her clothes and some of the jewelry, um, even in her lifestyle, the lifestyle that she leads in meditation. I really love that bracelet. It really does remind me of something you'd see, you know, you know, in India. And the red color adds light to her skin because she's fairly pale um, and she you know she stands out how do you feel in this outfit Jeanine you know what it's very comfortable it's very soft it's very you could almost sleep in it 
So, yeah, I like it. Are you doing a red carpet suit today? No, well, today's shoot, we're going raw. We're going like almost the raw rock. Hello? Obviously, this girl. I'm watching and I'm recording it on my camera, so I'll show it to you on Sunday. There's nothing wrong with the dress, but the whole thing. On Star TV. Janine's awkwardness in this outfit is helping me see. <laughs> no, you didn't look gay. We actually both look really gay. <laughs> and I picture that about Alanis. I picture her being. It's like. Yeah, it's almost done. Janine looked really good today in the wardrobe, and I'm hoping that after no, this. No, it's on tad light. That really good fashion sense. Janine is finally revealed as Alanis Morissette when we come back. Oh my god. Yeah.